Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I will show you two ways how to introduce multi-tenancy in Filament in a simplified way without actually defining the full tenancy with many-to-many -many teams. So this is a new section, relatively new section in the docs, which I co-authored with Dan Heron himself to show you that you don't need to specify tenancy of Filament on the panel level if you can use just eloquent models with global scope. So for example, if you want to have post with team ID or post by user ID and for them to only see their records, all you need to do is to add global scope which would be executed on all eloquent queries. Since Filament takes the eloquent queries from, well, eloquent, your tables and forms and everywhere will be automatically filtered by team and by user. And also, while creating the record, you don't need to edit filament files necessarily. You can use observers or eloquent mutators sometimes. But observer is better in this case, in my opinion. So this is one thing I wanted to show you that you can avoid full multi-tenancy of filament. And also, another example from one of our demo projects is what if only on this table you want to define the filter, so you don't want to make it global like a global scope, but just for this table. So in our case, we have customer panel with my orders, so orders assigned only to my user ID, and elsewhere maybe the queries would be different. But in this table, I want to filter the records by user ID, and in this case, in the database, I have three records, but only one of them is assigned to my user ID. So to achieve that, in the table of resource or filament, you can use modify query using. That modify query using is much broader and you can use it for whatever cause with a lot of custom code. But one of the examples is to implement that multi-tenancy on this level, on the level of table. You just add where user ID your user or where team ID team of that user. So this is simplified multi-tenancy in filament and the full featured multi-tenancy means that you have multiple teams and every user may belong to multiple teams and switch between them. So if you need that behavior, go into docs of filament about multi-tenancy and implement that. But in my experience, quite a lot of people, a lot of projects would use just that simplified version. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. And by the way, next week will be a short break on this channel. Filament Daily will not be daily because I will be on a short vacation in Malaga, Spain, but I will get back re-energized because I have a lot of tips on the list about filament in the future. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.